Let's bring in the mayor of Kyiv, Vitaly Klitschko, and his brother, Vladimir Klitschko, who is joining in the fight for Ukraine. Uh, thank you both uh, for joining us this morning. Mr. Mayor, I want to start by asking you about those extraordinary images of, uh, of Prime Minister Boris Johnson walking with President Zelensky in your city, in Kyiv, in a city that has been under siege for more than a month. Symbolically, what message does that send? How important is it to see the, the British prime minister there walking uh, the streets of your city? It's uh, we very appreciate this visit was very important signal for our partners uh, Kyiv much more safety right now and also a very important signal that Great Britain stay together with Ukraine support Ukraine in, uh, support our country in the fight for our freedom for our independence and that why we very appreciate for humanitarian support, for political support and weapon support is very, very important for us in this critical time. And we see who real friends of Ukraine. President Biden had said when, when he visited Poland that he had hoped to, uh, to visit Ukraine. Um, I, would you like to see the American president as well come, come to the streets of your city? Uh, we are very guest friendly people and uh, we'll be very happy to see our friends in uh, our uh, in our city in capital of Ukraine uh, but I understand today in uh, uh, unusual situation when Ukraine is the war it's uh, safety the decision of uh, security service and everyone decide by himself to come into Kyiv or not. Well, Vladimir, let me ask you about that, because you've been instrumental in organizing the defense of the capital city uh, with the Ukrainian military. The Russians have retreated to the east. Do you think, do you think they'll be back? Will they be back to Kyiv? We are expecting Russian military forces being back and targeting the capital of Ukraine, city of Kyiv. So in the beginning, their plans didn't work because our military was giving great defense and giving great fight. But pulling out of Kyiv doesn't mean that the war is over. They just changed the strategy. They're in the east and the south of the country extremely active and while we're talking the fights in the east in the south of the country are still going and obviously we are expecting them to be back and again targeting the capital and, and both of you have seen with your own eyes the devastation that the russians left behind as they retreated from the areas outside of kiev uh, the evidence of, of war crimes. I think, Mr. Mayor, you've, you've called it genocide. What kind of justice do you want to see ultimately done for those who perpetrated, those who did the attacks and those who ordered them? Everybody was shocked. We was also shocked if we see not just images to be present in this uh, in the town, uh, Borodyanka, Gastomil, Bucha, where killed hundreds of civilians without no reasons. The women, children, old people, uh, teenager. It's uh, it's genocide of Ukrainian. How does this end? What will it take to to bring peace back to Ukraine? There are two major issues and points. First and mostly, we need weapons. We cannot defend our country with the fists. We need weapons to defend our country. Second, isolation, economical isolation of Russia. Every cent and every trade that you do with Russia and every cent that Russia is getting, they're using for weapons to kill us, Ukrainians, and relying on their propaganda, Ukraine is just the beginning. They will roll further. And if we're not gonna stop them in Ukraine, they will come further. If we fail, 
the Western world, the free world will fail. And that's why it is important to have those isolation and those sanctions and isolation, economical isolation of Russia, as well as supporting us, Ukrainians, with the weapons. We don't need and expect any other army and army boots on our soil. We're going to take care of ourselves and we'll defend our homes. We just need those weapons to do that. And also very important, we defend not just our families and our children. We defend the same, I hope, the same values and principles what have democratic countries. And that's why support of Ukraine is very important for us. Still with Ukraine is a key for peace. Unity around Ukraine is key for the peace back in Europe. Thank you very much, uh, Mayor Klitschko, Vladimir Klitschko. Thank you for joining us on this week. Keep supporting us and thank you. Thank you.